Welcome to the Kendi and Rabo podcast, sponsored by Anderson's Bar and Grill and the Blind Tiger Bar. Give it up for Kendi and Rabo! Hi, Jesus Christ. Okay, Ray, would you just sit normal? Look at the shoulders on you, man. Just sit down normal, will you? Relax your shoulders, pull them down. Airplane, airplane what are you doing? You're phone. ringing the taxi. Oh. Come here. Um, here's the crack, right? We're just going to record a podcast, right? I can't stress this enough, right? We, first of all, didn't think there was going to be so many people here. It's your fault. Nor did we actually plan anything, right? So for anyone who actually listens to Kendi, and I actually wrote this down, wait and see. <laughs> Tell people you can't stress enough how little you've prepared. And that's all I've fucking written on it. So... Uh, we just have to really, really, really stress that. that we're literally going to record a podcast here and now. And if you enjoy... Shut up! Uh, if you enjoy <laughs> it... Uh, what are you best at? Uh, if you enjoy it, you enjoy it. If not, you can get your money back. Uh, it was a free event. Uh, we forgot to tell you that there was no money coming in, obviously, but it's going to cost you a tenner to get out. So just keep that... Keep that in mind. You have jokes. Huh? You have jokes. I, I just came up with that one there. That's really good. But that's how you do it, really. Just freewheel it. You let it come as it is. You know what I mean? Yeah. Anyway, um, let's just get straight into it and forget No, but can we, can we do what a normally, we normally the do? The fucking level of them headphones. Sorry. I'm not going to use them. Go on, anyway. I can turn Sorry, you down. Go on. No, leave it be, man. Can I I'm... just feel out of place then with my headphones I'm, on. I'm panicking now, Ray. Leave us. What's it like? Now he's no, moving, no, lads. No, yeah. no, oh, no, no. He went back to Safety of the headphones, right, okay. yeah. 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 You're like, oh, I won't Brendan's say it, offering you your head, his headphones now. No, it's his grandma. Leave it as it is. I'll be sitting. Here's the other thing as well. I'm going to leave another disclaimer on this, Ray, okay? Because mm-hmm. I feel like I have to, because I get in trouble so much. I might say something now. <laughs> that I can't edit out. That we can't edit out, because you've all heard us. <laughs> no, and I really, really, really have to stress that, okay? Because the amount of arguments me and Ray have every week, which literally goes, but you're Ray, I'm not talking about anyone in particular. And then he goes, I ah, know, but you're insulting a whole nation or something along those lines. It's very racist, a so, lot of it. Yeah, a lot of yeah. it might be ra- Listen, all I can say is I'm very, very sorry. If I say something, that's just me, you guys. So take it as it comes. I'm Mark. Mark and he, him. So take it as it comes. And I'm very, very sorry if I insult anyone tonight. Ray won't. He's very, very careful. Oh, no, that's another problem. I, I do that too. And I managed to edit me out. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But this is worrying. <laughs> <laughs> Too many witnesses. <laughs> uh, but no, uh, I want to do it like we normally do it if we can. Yeah. The only so thing that got me through the last week or two thinking about this was the fact that it's just what we normally do in the box room yeah. on a Monday night, sometimes a Tuesday if Mark is busy or has a Liverpool match on. And yeah. this is basically what we're going to do. Yeah. Brendan normally comes in, he chats to us. Hello, Brendan. Hello. Great. This is Brendan Tierney, by the way. You've heard us abuse him. It's, and it's great, I can't see him, because he's behind you, yeah. which is marvellous. Oh, I'll, be, I'll be waving as normal. Thank you, thank we you. We have a challenge later on as well for you. Oh, for the love of <laughs> shit. If for anyone that heard the lilting challenge last week, there's another one. I was just thinking before you start, should we have a little interval? What do the people think? Well, um, I'm going to put it to the people. Oh, yeah, okay, I'll make the decision. It probably then. is uh, no hand of an interval, what? is there? I know I didn't talk about this. Jeez, we've never... Had um, an interval. We've never intervaled ever in our lives. <laughs> sure you haven't took a break since 96. <laughs> That's an assumption that there's something in the first half that'll be worthwhile taking a break from. Yeah, as if we've planned something. Yeah. We'll what do you how think? We go. Do you want to go for piss and pints? Is that? It's Shots. actually, they probably want something. The bar will probably want an interval. Okay, well, if you're happy <laughs> enough, here's the crack, right? It's not going to take that long. We're going to talk for about an hour. So do you want us to talk for a half an hour and let you go for a drink? Yeah, half an hour. Yeah, Lovely, yeah. we're flying. Okay, uh, that's more money for Andersons as well. That's what we want. Yeah, that's what we yeah. need sponsorship. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Speaking of sponsorship, how unbelievable is Andersons Tremendous, Tremendous Event, Event Centre? Center. Give them oh a round of applause. God. What a marvellous place it is. Also, this shagging <laughs> thing in the back, I feel like we're doing all housekeeping, but anyway, we'll get into it. This shagging bastard joke, right, <laughs> is from Sligo Comedy Festival two years ago. Three? Yeah, where James McManus said, do you want me to do a wee graphic? I said, what a wonderful idea, James. And he put a dress and a mickey on me. <laughs> and uh, we it decided to use it again. stands the test of time. No, it's actually the... It's still relevant today. It's the best I've looked. <laughs> it actually is the best I've ever looked. Is, uh, <clears throat> yeah, proportionately with that thing. Okay, so... Let's just uh, get into it. Usually we get into it by doing something like this, chatting yeah. away, yeah. and then we find a cut point. I'll relax enter. eventually. Yeah, would you just put your shoulders down at least? <laughs> That's all I need you to do. Christ almighty. Are okay. we getting the tremendous cocktails? Yeah, where the hell is our shagging cocktails? 
There was supposed to be some Or the delivery man but we didn't, <laughs> obviously. <laughs> Alien, where is the shag cocktails? Yeah. They said they had special cocktails. Anyway, they'll probably come up at some stage, Ray. We won't worry about too much. Let's get right into the nitty gritty. I typed out my notes this week. Right, okay. You That's see, already a phone. change. Yeah, they're yeah. already in the phone. Yeah. Go on, anyway. Go on, Ray. <coughs> so you can start it off. Johnny Depp. That's okay. Come on. <laughs> actually, we're watching that. Oh, shit, actually. We should. <laughs> Let's go with that. No, okay. Oh, but straight away I'm going to get in trouble. Where that's yeah, the let's first do that. thing. It'll okay. make me feel better. Okay, so here's the crack. <laughs> Domestic violence, don't do it. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Keep your hands to yourself. Okay. Now, it works both ways. I don't want to see. Oh, thanks for saving me. Hey! Hey! What? Shot! 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 Oh, take it. What? What? Oh, yeah. Hold on. One. Oh, oh chase us. Thank you. You put it in. I nearly drank it as a What shake. kind of antibacterial fire lotion is that? I'm almost certain I put something like this in the washing machine. <laughs> <laughs> I'd never put anything in the washing machine. That's a lot of lies. Okay. <laughs> now, Ray, right. with... <laughs> Fair play to the Blind Tiger and Anderson's Tremendous Event Centre for the beautiful cocktail. Thanks and very much. the lovely money. Okay, so here we go. Ooh. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That changes everything. This is an act. He puts this on just to advertise it. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> mm. oh. Mm. What the f... It's nice. Acting, ladies Thank and gentlemen. You. There you go. Thank you. It's unbelievable. You had me. <laughs> what? Okay. I wonder what they're called. Uh, they're, it's a book of the stuff. Okay, so... Uh, Amber Heard, okay. domestic Amber. abuse. Is that her name, Amber Heard? Okay. Yes. Domestic abuse. Let's... Okay, we don't agree with this, but let's make some light of it, perhaps, maybe, perhaps. okay? I don't know who's right or wrong. I reckon they might have both been kicking the heads of each other. Right. But! <laughs> but! Right? First things first. I was sitting on the fence, yeah. right, between, I don't know, is Johnny a gobshite? Is Amber a gobshite? Yeah. And then I got pushed over the line today <laughs> when I read an article that mm. said she took a shite in the bed. And I said, hang on now, that's fucking a step too far. She didn't, did she? You can kick the head of him, verbally abuse him, <laughs> burn him, whatever the hell you want to do. Chop the top of his Lock finger him off. in the back of a, a vector, whatever you want to do. But Jesus, don't shite in the bed. The uh, only image I got out of that was him in the back of the vector. <laughs> that's what I can say. You can see him there, the big sad head. Yeah, I know. Yeah. But, yeah, but, and, but here's the thing as well. I have a theory about that, okay? Because who in the right mind shites in the bed? I think... <laughs> Can happen accidentally. I know what I'm saying. Is, I know it can happen accidentally. Things can Raymond, happen because some people go to weddings and eat too many sweeties, and then. <laughs> so I'm just saying. What happened to you? Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's uh, okay. Sorry, for anyone who doesn't know that. <laughs> for anyone who doesn't know that story, I just I'll reiterate it one more time. I'm very sorry. Okay. <laughs> I w was playing music at a wedding. Yes. Okay. And um, we were waiting for the speeches to finish. <laughs> Shows up. Okay. Because I'm trying to. Please. I was eating, we were waiting for the speeches to end. Mm. And there was a sweet cart where mm. the band was standing. My mother often told me in my youth, <laughs> Mark, don't eat that, you'll get sick. Yeah. Right? I couldn't eat sweets as a kid. Jelly babies, disaster. I started walloping into them. I said they're only on the best man's speech to be another 20 minutes. Yeah. Right? On the way home, I was driving Ray like that. Like, I was like, ah, oh, I was killed, man. So I go home to the lovely Nicola, and uh, I said, Nick, this ain't good. I mean, either call a doctor or, I don't know, the priest or something. Mm. So I ended up uh, getting sick, and I walked out to Nicola like a new man. It was like I was reborn. <laughs> I said, Nick, that's it. I feel great now. I'm after getting sick. And yeah. She said, lovely. Get into bed then. Oh, this is going to, you know what I mean? Let's go to sleep. Yeah. In my sleep, I fucking, something happened. It's got to reborn. Yeah. That's what I do call it, a scuttery board. Oh, Jesus, you have a name for us. Well, you know oh. the things with all the fancy beets and cheeses? A, sc oh. well, a scootery board, what is it called? Oh, a shootery board. A shootery board. <laughs> <laughs> but if you pronounce the C, a it's, a, it's a scuttery board. Oh. And it's very, it just, well, uh, it's, it's a word that reflects what you see. Yeah, well, this was tasteless, <laughs> man. So I had Is that why you got a new bed? I what? never asked you this. <laughs> no, because we got a new bed about four years later. All right. That's nothing to do with it. Anyway, that happened to me. Nicholas said, Mark, I think you might have had an accident. And I said, walk up. And I said, you're dead right. Could Nick. Amber have had said, said accident? Huh? Could Amber have had the same said accident? That's what I'm saying. Do you think, think it was a sweet Now card? I'm getting to the point. Okay. Right? 
Amber Heard is a fine looking blonde woman. Yes. Right? She's gorgeous beyond belief, really. Does she play okay? with a wedding band? Yeah. No, but she, maybe she was at a wedding, eating sweets. And what yeah. I'm saying is that she doubled down and said, you know what? I'm going to pretend that I was abusing the head of him. Right? <laughs> She obviously shit the bed after a load of sweets and said, I can't let him know that I shit the oh, bed. Oh, wow! You know what I mean? I see, now we're So she said, I'm going to pretend I meant to do it right. because of the head in them. You know what I mean? Because I'm not enjoying them. So it was he better... He falling asleep was, on the couch. We were trying to watch Peaky Blinders. I'm going to shit in the bed. That's the... You know what I mean? It was better to say she was abusing him than to admit yeah. the fact that and she... Yeah, and I think that was the start of it. I think she said, well, I'm fucking in it now. I'm actually shitting in the bed. I might as well kick the head of him. You know what I mean? Like... <laughs> Like, we'd, I, we, but the thing is, we don't know. If I was on the jury, like, I'd be putting this point to people. I'd be saying, let's not jump the gun, lads. No one just shits to bed for no reason. On a completely different note. Yeah. Um, I was offered to buy a photo booth. What? A photo booth. For, like a wedding photo booth? Last week we spoke about Barry O'Sullivan. He makes money from people who, who yeah. For, but, but he has a photo booth he's selling it. 700 euros, you can get the whole thing. Right, okay. I love, if anyone wants to buy a photo booth, have Barry. No, no. Okay. Well, would you do it? What? Would you no. be the guy that does the photo booth at the weddings? I've seen the guys who do the photo booths at weddings, all of them, okay? <laughs> it's a tight business. This is what fucking annoys me about those people, okay? No, no, let me just get into this, right? The fucking not, the, so they come in, yeah. right, with a photo booth, right, yeah. and they set it up, and then he sits on his phone like that, like, right? Because it's a do-it-yourself photo booth, isn't it? Yeah, it is a DIY, so I don't know why he's getting paid for, man. He might as well go up and have a hit and miss and a fag, like, yeah. because he doesn't need to be there. And then also, right, when, when I'm playing music mm -hmm. on the stage and the crowd are loving us, yeah. hating Kendi out of us, yeah. right? They're going, that is one of the top 600 cutest guys I've ever seen in my life on that stage. And they're loving it and they're dancing away. Yeah. The photo booth guys come up and they say, will you just let people know that there's a photo booth down the back? There? Okay. And you're like, you're like, fuck off, man. Why would I send everyone down to you? And here's the other thing with a fake photo, or with a photo booth as well, okay? Yeah. Last thing, it's fake crack. So why don't you go and have the crack? And take photos there. Yeah, and, and don't even worry about the photos. If they're yeah. taken, it doesn't matter. Go and have the crack. The thing about those photo boots at weddings is they go, get in here and put on a stupid hat and glasses that are this size and pretend you're having the crack with everyone. Hmm. Inflatable guitar, that was brilliant. So you go in, you go, <laughs> and then you put it down, you go, fuck off again. <laughs> it's all, it's fake shit. Fake right? crack. So, so, but so you're don't getting get into one. the business though, are you? I, t I debated it. Seriously, would you? Well, it'd be the sort of thing that like, I could obviously, if I was free of a night, I could do it. Yeah, but are you and free of any of the family could do it. Laura you, could get into it. You could send them out. I could send people out of it. Like. You could, you could have vans on the road, right? I could have a few photo booths going. No, you could be the photo guy. <laughs> yeah, Ray McAndrew's photo. You fashions. couldn't do them at anything other than weddings, though, could you? Well, like, where else would you want to photo? Like, a court? Communions. Maybe, maybe outside <laughs> Johnny and Amber's fucking court Communions or confirmations. Case. Yeah, communions confirmations could yeah. be a good one. Because here's the thing. Uh, k kids, they'd love that shit, man. They'd eat that without salt. See, right? I think it's an open market. So are you going to buy this off Barry? I'm thinking about it, yeah. Are you, actually? Not really, no. No, sir. Oh, yeah, sorry. <laughs> Ray's be financial careful. advisor is in the crowd, which happens to be his missus yeah. as well. So uh, he doesn't want to buy that wherever she might be. Ray, on, it's, it's not an emerging market, by the way, because people aren't fucking booking them anymore. No. Because Ray does a weird load of shit. <laughs> So you're getting me vexed now already. Sorry. I'm about 10 minutes in, man. I'm already ripping with the shit that you're coming out with. Okay. But anyway, go on anyway. Keep going. Right, I'll start. Yeah, go on. Oh, you'll start. I'll okay, start now. Perfect. Right. Shoulders are down. I had another suck you out of the bucket of stuff. I'm going to suck the bucket of stuff and then you go for it. There, go on. <sighs> Stop looking at them. Of all the weeks not to have a lot of stuff to bring in. <laughs> See, normally I'd have a lot of stuff. I'd have loads of bits and pieces that I'd talk about. Some of it would land, some of it wouldn't. Yeah. But this week, now I had nothing. Okay, but we'll see. Thank you. Do you want to take a break now? Or <laughs> no, <come on. laughs> Man, no. Um, nothing happened. So we recorded last Monday. Yep. And then nothing happened at all right up until, like, the weekend. Okay. I was devastated. I was ready to take down. I think there was actually a couple of stories that I was going to hold for tonight. Okay. I was going to hold the whole teeth flossing thing. The which? The whole teeth flossing story. Oh, man. Yeah. That still makes me sick, by the way. <laughs> And I have since found out who did that. Yeah, you and did. And it fucking makes me twice as sick. <laughs> this yeah. guy flashed his fucking teeth with money. Like, notes. Like, dirty old notes that were left in spares and centres all up in an old farmer. Oh, Jesus Christ. Did you ever see the video of the farmer eating the Lincoln sausages? Anyway, that's you, That always reminds you of that. Huh? You, I don't know why it does. Every time I see money, right? <laughs> you just got dropped a bottle of Heineken. Every time, I, every time I see money, like dirty old money, yeah. I always think back, I don't know why, to the video of the fucking farmer in Roscommon eating the link of sausages raw at the mart. Why does it remind you of that? Because I just, 
they're awful smelly. I don't know what it is, Ray. I don't know what it is. I come from a farming background, me. Like, yeah. Yeah, back behind the house, <laughs> if there was a farmer, he was in the field. Yeah. So, I'm allowed to say stuff like that. You know what I mean? Go on anyway. Sorry, sorry. Go on. I, go on nothing go on. happened anyway till Saturday. I, had okay. to, I was then a taxi man on Saturday. Okay. I had to bring Laura to her exam, her final end of year exam in. down in Cork. Oh, yeah. Yeah. By the way, I have to ask this question. How many of you are here for the podcast tonight? Give us a cheer. Yeah. How many of you are here for Laura Kylie's birthday? This is dog shit, man. Is that fucking true? That's true. Oh, I've got, you the... could hear the difference in the roar. Yeah. How to, oh, I'm sick. I'm actually sick now. <laughs> and she I was like, oh my God, we just drew such a big crowd. Like, yeah. Kylie's 13. That makes sense. <laughs> and it's not even today. It's tomorrow. Huh? It's tomorrow. It's not oh, even it's tomorrow. Yeah. She's 13 People are here in advance. Are we allowed to say she's 30? Yes. All right, okay. We don't have to pretend she's 21. No. Good, because she doesn't look it. Because but go on, anyway. <laughs> we can't pull that one off. Go on. uh, anyway, I feel like I'm reading the script. Her final exam is in Cork. Right. And um, there's a bit of competition, because I, I was going to... I wanted to drive her down, but her mother also wanted to drive her down. Oh. Yeah. You're stepping on toes there, right? Yeah, this was, a, this was a mother job. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, know? that was a mammy job. Yeah, Trying to get a child to an exam. Yeah. <laughs> of course. <laughs> I was really getting involved, you know. This is her junior cert now she was doing, no. wasn't it? Yeah, <laughs> no, no, no. It was, it was a speech and drama uh, final exam to Lovely. be a teacher. Right. So I, I discussed things with Suzanne. We met and we, we had made a compromise. Right. We agreed that I would take Suzanne's car. <laughs> <laughs> Suzanne said, look, look it. I'll, I'll, I'll compromise it. You take my car and then I'll feel like I'm doing something. Right, it's okay. Yeah. So Suzanne spent the weekend in, Sli in Sligo and She said, no, you fill it with petrol now, yeah. but you can just bring the yeah, car. Yeah, yeah, bring it back. It was like rental. You had to bring yeah. it back full. Just get it serviced <laughs> on the way back into town. No yeah. bother at all. And fill so, it up. <laughs> Suzanne's car is a fancy 2021 or two cash guy. Big sexy. Oh, all right, yeah. Okay. All right. Gun metal grey. Oh, yup, yup, boy. It's a beast of a yoke. Yeah. Right? Is bit she jumpy, petrol, bit petrol, petrol. Petrol. She petrol, a bit jumpy in second, but other than that, it's a fine car. Says you should get shaky after 160. <laughs> Well, I'll say that to people when you drive their car. Well, how would you like it? I was shaky enough after 200 now. <laughs> <laughs> My biggest thing was, um, I took, we got the car on the Friday evening, so I took off on the Saturday morning pure early. Right. Mark, the difference in the way people look at you. <laughs> when you're driving an ice yoke. My, at the moment, our car is a 04 Ford Focus. Yeah, and I don't know why, because you're like... <laughs> no, no, but I know, like, you're not supposed to be... You're not supposed to be into material things, right? <laughs> I get that. Yeah. I get that. But also, like, you're, I, fuck it, I don't want to say, but like, you're high up in the government. Like, Not that high up. <laughs> why are you driving a car? And there's nothing wrong with that. Oh. There's no, sorry, I'm such a prick. This is what I said, I'm going to say shit, it's going to get me in trouble, because there's people out there who obviously, now, who drive, well, there's nothing wrong with that. Yeah. I'm just saying, Ray, you, you're very immaterial <laughs> in certain ways. My, my favourite demographic on Dundee is between 500 euros and 1,000. <laughs> the, the value you can find in a Vectra for 600 quid, oh, a 08 or something, you know? Or, uh, and, and we know that. Or there's a, a Kia. <laughs> there's a friend of ours, Derek, who treats cars like they're disposable. Yeah. He treats them like they're the 250 t-shirts you get in pennies. <laughs> I'll wear that twice, <laughs> and then I'll throw that away. Yeah. And so much so that he drives, yeah, like, Derek drives cars, right? He never taxes, NCTs, insurance. Doesn't he need just, to, just throws them away. He drives them until they break. And when I say break, I mean, it has to turn into the Flintstones car before mm. he'll get rid of it. Like, mm. he has to literally be walking on the ground mm. with nothing in, underneath him before he'll get rid of that car. Like. So the Ford Focus was 800 euros. Right. It was an absolute bargain. And, and it's a bad, fine man. car. Many fibres is that? That's, I couldn't tell you. This a lot. <laughs> it's a lot of fibres. A lot of fibres, man. But I gave the Ford Focus to Suzanne, which mm. was, I don't know how she took it at all. Because right. this was a real embarrassment to her. She's tipping around with this 221 gunmetal grey cash guy. She had to drive the Focus around the place. She got the, she got the Focus. Man, she has stature in this so town. She, when, she came over to, <laughs> when she came over to when she came over dropped the car off to me, she said, I'm going to show you how to drive it now. So we had to go for a spin around the block just so she could show me all the features. All the new stuff. Yeah, all the new things, yeah. you know. And it, it's mad. There's yeah, but automatic parking brakes. Yeah. The, the, like and it literally here. breaks you. Huh? It breaks, yeah. Is this one of the yokes that stops? Yeah. You're driving and it goes, whoa, hey, whoa, whoa, yeah. whoa, whoa. Yeah. Take if I went over the line at all, it started shaking. It yeah, yeah, yeah. Pulls you back into the yeah. line again. I only drove one of those once, right? Go on. I drove a Volkswagen Tiggy on, right? <laughs> a Tiggy on. Do you know the Tiggy ons? <laughs> oh, man. I drove a, a Volks... Tiguan. Huh? A Tiguan. I don't think so. No. <laughs> 
It's a chiggy on, you bollocks. <laughs> he always does this to me as well. Makes out that I pronounce it, it's a chiggy on. Right. Okay. So I was driving to Volkswagen chiggy on, right? Yeah. And I was driving up to Dublin. I must have fell asleep five or six times. <laughs> It was unbelievable. You can get it to a point where you can set the speed on the, the dual carriageway, right? Mm. And it literally just drives itself. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's beautiful. And it's a good job you can set the speed on his dual carriageway now, Ray, and motorways and all that crack. Because you hear what happened outside Burn Hill? What happened? The bastards, man. There's a, a camera now. You know those cameras I have in England? Which ones? You know, <laughs> fancy ones, man. Pure... F right, wait you here, right? In <laughs> Ireland, we have a great system in Ireland, right? It's drive it until you get your first three points, right? Yes. No, no, this is it though. Like, this, fucking, this drives me mad. Okay, so <laughs> we have a rule in Ireland, right, where you take the risk that there might be a guard on the side of the road or yeah. a speed van that mm. might catch you, but yeah. also we flash each other out of it. Yeah. Right? We're always flashing each other. Anyway, yeah. I like to tell you about flashing as well. Jesus Christ, remind me of that. Yeah. I got flashed out of it last night, man. With which kind of flash? Stereo cans. Oh. Uh, honestly, left and right, man. I couldn't get away from them. Anyway, sorry. <laughs> so, this girl, man, in the pub last night. Took them out. No, she didn't mean... No, but I think she didn't mean to take them out. You know Nicholas here? What? You know Nicholas but here? But I didn't ask her, Ray. <laughs> yeah, but whether... Man, I was like... You were, you were uh, all the blame. No, I was like a child. You know, you know whenever you're trying to feed a child and they don't want to be fed and you're like... Ah, you know, like ah. <laughs> That's fucking mad. <laughs> this girl in the pub, uh, she ha was wearing this shirt... But your man, honestly, it didn't. And every time she enjoyed the song that I was playing, <laughs> the shirt was up to here. She had not none underneath, man. Yeah. And, the, and every time she enjoyed the song, she went, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Jesus, man. So okay. I couldn't get away from it. Like, so obviously I'm not to blame. Does anybody know her? Anybody know who we're talking about? No? No, please. <laughs> oh, shit. That's the other thing. That's the shit we would have edited out because someone knows her, definitely. Yeah. But there's nothing wrong with this. No, okay. I want a break free job. Let Did them the out. other lads you know see what I mean? Huh? Did the other lads in the band see but you? But you're me. You couldn't get away from them. <laughs> you couldn't get away. I swear to God. Right. I feel like I said to her, please, like, please, like, one that's what slapped me into the jaw. Please. <laughs> like, honest to God. And anyway, she didn't care. Cameras. And worse than that again. Oh my God. Please. If she's here now, imagine if she was here. <laughs> Hang on. Worse than that again, she very evidently went on a Tinder date that wasn't working out. And have you ever seen a fella follow a girl who doesn't want him? Oh my God, it's as awkward. So he was following her around the place. They came in 10 o'clock, yeah. right? At quarter past one, he was still standing there as if to go, so definitely not, no, no. what's the... <laughs> and she didn't talk to him once, like the whole time in there. They came in and she said, you were grand now, I'm going to go have the crack. And he said, I hear you. I'll just stand here beside you though while you're doing it, like, for the next... It was awful awkward, but and made more awkward by the... The left and right stereo can. Anyway, so what was I on about again? The roads, man, in Bird Hill. Wait, I fucking tell you. Okay, hang on a second now. <laughs> we in Ireland. No, because you're not. Listen, I've got to get myself back on track here. I'm yeah, please. In Ireland, Ray, right? You either get a guard or a, car, or a fucking speed van, right? Mm -hmm. In England, you have to keep it to 120, Ray, mm -hmm. because they have cameras every so often on motorways, and then they judge the distance. So they say, there's no way he made it 10 kilometers in that amount of time oh. from when we called him on the other camera down there. So he had to have been breaking the law. Now, they're testing that in Ireland now, and they're putting that shit outside Bird Hill in Tipperary. An average speed job. They're testing like the UBI for the musicians, man, like we ran about last <laughs> week. It's the same thing. So now it's not going to be, the guys won't have to be on the road anymore at all now. They're going to put fucking cameras everywhere. Isn't it and I break the speed limit all the time. Isn't I don't want to say that. I hope there's no guards here. But when you're driving home late at night, man, I'll tell you one thing, there's no slowing down in Top of Curry, man. She, you know what I mean? <laughs> Straight through. Straight through. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, did you ever pull that trick when you were young? I did it once only, and I'll never do it again because it's way too scary, and I'm not a thrill seeker. Did you ever pull the stunt where you're driving rural roads, right? Yeah. Late at night? Yeah. And in order to save time, I mean, what the fuck? Like, how much time are you saving? In order to save time... You drive through bends. You know, you turn off your lights at the crossroads, right? <laughs> no, listen to me. This is a belter. <laughs> Don't drive through a bend, man. If the road bends... <laughs> it's a different thing. Ray, if the road bends, you got to bend. Okay. <laughs> she were born on a bend, man. Okay, so, anyway. You turn off your lights so that you know then if there's no... So if you turn off your lights and you still see lights, you know that there's a car coming on the junction. I swear to fuck, isn't that the stupidest shit? Is anybody else horrified at this? No, no. No, no, that's the thing. This, you did this to save time. Yeah, I, that's what I'm saying. It doesn't save any time, but I did it once ever, right? <laughs> I did it at a crossroads between Strokestown and Roscommon, man. Yeah. I, you, you do a shring of rice, 
coming out of that crockery outside that lawn. I know. And you get to a crossroads then to cross over, yeah. right? And I said, I haven't time, man. I want to go home and watch the office. Oh, I so get you now. You, you turned off the lights. You're driving along at yeah. 60, 70 miles an hour. Yeah. You switch off your lights in the dark road. 120, probably. But yeah. <laughs> you switch off your lights in the dark road. Just imagine this now. Yeah. And you don't see any other light. So, so then you switch them back on and keep going through the junction. You go straight through the junction then. Because if you turn off your lights and there's no other lights, unless someone else is doing the same trick as you. <laughs> <laughs> I wish there's a guard here, because if that accident had happened, they'd be sitting there going, fuck it, that was it. That's what happened. I couldn't figure that out. I didn't think, like, it is an awful story. I didn't say it was smart. I just said, you know what I mean? I did it I saw another, a friend of mine from Kerry, who we've mentioned before, and I saw him do it one time, and I, me being stupid, young and naive, I went, that's class. awful class. I'm fucking, I gotta try that now someday. Like, I don't fucking, don't, don't try do that. that. Don't try that. Anyway. What were you on about? I can't fucking remember. It was the cameras. If we work back, so Johnny uh, Depp. Johnny uh, Depp. <laughs> Wait now. No, you were saying something about saving time. No, cameras. you were bringing. You were driving I around was, the cash guy. Cash, oh no! But before that, oh, you yeah. remind, isn't it lovely in this country that you have a couple of like you can get three points. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah, you can get another three points. You can. It's still okay. Yeah. You can. A good friend of ours. Yeah. Won't say his name now. No. He got. All the, he got nine points. He got, yeah, man, he was flying, man. He was one of their best. Yeah. <laughs> he, got, he got all of them at once. <laughs> yeah, he got all nine at once. All nine, it was three speed vans. Unbelievable. Yeah. <laughs> it was like an orgy of, of, of road patrol. Oh, they were all out that day, man. But when you get to nine, then all of a sudden you're facing losing your license altogether. Mm -hmm. that's, a, that's a nervous couple yeah, of no, months. Yeah, no, that is horrific. Yeah. So, 12 was when you lose it all. 12, you're gone. Can I just say this now and touch wood? Yeah. I don't have any points. Me neither, it's great. Based on that last story, I don't know how, but I don't have... <laughs> I have never got a point, man. You, right. you know what I mean? Yeah. So, I don't know how people live on nine. Like, you must be absolutely shiting yourself. And I can tell you, you know this, what I mean? this gentleman is. I reckon that that's the people that annoy me on the road. You know when I'm caught by oh, someone giving out stink <laughs> and Nicola loses the head? You know I got so thick one time in Galway that we were in Westside. Oh, fuck. <laughs> we were in, uh, driving out Westside, Galway, a city, like, out yeah. towards uh, Salt Hill to meet you to go paintballing. Oh, that was a good day. Do you remember that? Yeah. I got so vexed in the car. We were still about six miles from the paintball pit, and Nicola said, I'm getting out, and I'm getting out now, and walking. <laughs> That's how thick I was behind traffic, but I reckon the people that are holding me up are the people on nine points going, I'm fucking not, I'm not going anywhere. Yeah. No way. <laughs> I go, oh, I don't care if I'm holding you up, Kendi. The marvellous the marvelous thing about the cash guy is it flashes at you if you're over the speed limit. It does, does it? The whole thing lights up. Drive me mad. Like Money. Christmas tree. So it's basically it's telling you what to do all the time. Yeah. But the, 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 the giveaway is everybody thinks you're great. You mentioned <laughs> earlier about, you know, certain, in a certain place in life, you should have something, you know? Right. I definitely felt better about myself driving this yoke. But didn't you, though? I did, totally. And that lasts for about a month. It's well worth the it was, 50 yeah, grand. Yeah, even if... You <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. But that's, <laughs> that's fucking true. That's <laughs> fucking true, Ray. <laughs> I didn't buy anything like that, like... But no. I bought a relatively new car. New car, maybe. 2018. And I was like, that's... When you buy your new car and you sit in, and it smells like Kevin Egan, and uh, <laughs> you... Uh, <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> when you hop in, yeah. that day, you go, that's it, I never want anything else now. Yeah. I'm content now. And then about three weeks later, do you want to say three weeks later? Yeah. You're the, buying those little the trees. Skoda. You know the little trees that make it smell like yeah, Kevin yeah. Egan? Do, you know what I do they do a Kevin Egan range in the Magic Trees? Huh? <laughs> Can you get a Kevin they Egan do, the smell of Kevin. Yeah, yeah. Do you know what the marvellous thing, and this is, this is why I'm very happy. Go on. Um, obviously, Laura was with me. Yeah. And I'm sorry now, but talking, you're here, so sorry about that. But she w Somewhere. she doesn't like the smell of new cars. Why not? It makes her sick. What? She, she felt nauseous. That makes me sick. That's but I was sick. delighted. I, this is going to be great. I can continue with my Ford Focus addiction. Oh, that's great. She'll never want something new. What I'm trying to say to you is that don't get bogged down by the material stuff, even though I just told you you're a fool for not doing it. <laughs> because you'll buy it and you'll enjoy it for a month. And then you'll go, well, this is the same as anything else I've ever had now. And you're always trying to seek something more and more. Hmm. And that's where money's a bastard, man. Yeah, thanks. You know what I mean? So do you want to go for a hit and miss and a drink and then we'll come back and do another little bit? Does that make yeah, sense? It's like if it's anyone tries to leave as well, we have ninjas <laughs> on the door. So a couple of little housekeeping things, Ray, that we have to get through first. First of all, the lovely Brendan uh, behind us, the gorgeous Brendan behind us, <laughs> is uh, keeping an eye on the Kenji Raybo Instagram page. So if you want to send him a message or something that you want to ask, He's going to pick out some, maybe some good crack ones later on. So message the Kendi Rabo Instagram page. And um, even if you don't have a question, just tell him how cute we are. Okay, so um, 
That's one thing. The second thing, what was I supposed to say, Brendan? I forgot already. You're due a raffle prize from the Hawks, aren't you? Oh, yeah. Where's Karen Gordon? Hello. <laughs> You'll have to tell them the backstory now. Did I win or not? No. <laughs> I'll tell you the backstory for anyone who doesn't know, but you might have heard it already. I went to see a wonderful show called The Producers, right? Most of them are here tonight. And it produced... Give it a, give a round of applause to the, the cast yeah. uh, of The Producers, ladies and gentlemen. And can I just say, it produced nothing on my end, because... <laughs> Uh, I entered the raffle, yeah. right? Not and I said did. to Nicola, I can't wait for this raffle now. I know I've said this before, this is going to be a belter. The show is brilliant. I love a good raffle, okay? I got home to bed that night, and I shot up in the bed, and I said, Nicola, there was no fucking raffle at that thing at all. Who the hell did we give money to? And then you informed me that it's one of those raffles where you have to assume you won and walk out the front Not assume. and pick up a prize or something. You check to see if you've won. Right. They, they lay all the prizes out on a table with a black curtain on it. Yeah. Very sexy, in fairness, to the people at the Hawks. Well, I'm and not all disputing the, the sexiness of, yeah. of us. Okay. And that's how they do it. But come here. So am I supposed to be a good fella? And then, like, because what if I'm a bastard? Oh. Which is very feasible, looking at me now. Oh, yeah. So what if I'm like, yeah, I won the fucking the cash guy. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like, what if I just pick something up? Yeah, I definitely won the hamper of Jameson. That was me. Did, did you what find a lot of fraud? Oh, oh okay, right, right, okay, so it was well looked after. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was mine then, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> oh, jeez, what was it a voucher for? Oh, yeah. oh, oh the yeah. seaweed bath. Yeah. Oh, I love that shit. It's... It was driving lessons, Do you know actually. what? I love that. The, <laughs> the via seaweed bath. Why are the you seaweed... looking like this? Because uh, this... I was looking down oh, at them because the, okay. the right. seaweed slips into, it's lovely. I, it's, it's actually a savage spot, man. Where it slips it into. It hits you in places where a woman can't. That's all I'm saying. That's all. You know what I mean? And you're in control, Ray. Yeah. yeah. Do you feel all slinky after? Huh? I'm actually slinky? not going to lie. I did uh, have a seaweed bath before. It was tremendously relaxing, but it, it's slimy now. You know what I mean? It feels like you're rolling around a bowl of Vaseline. You know what I mean? <laughs> no, it does though. Because you know when you're in a bath, like, bats at the... I fucking love bats. I, I've told you this before, okay? Yeah, you've gone off them lately, though. No, I've gone off the bats lately because I haven't time. Hmm. Like, there's a lot of things I haven't time for now lately. That's why I shaved me hair off. I haven't mm -hmm. time to look after us. Mm -hmm. Anyway, so, when you're in a bath, you get in, right? Like that. And then you're like, oh, this is lovely. And then the further and further down you go, you're like, oh. And then you end up looking over your own stomach at your Mickey, and you're like, what kind of a shape am I in at all? So, I can't even fucking get back up. Jesus. <sighs> that wasn't graceful. So, when you're in a seaweed bath, that's 20 times worse, man. You're slipping and sliding all around the place. Oh, I'm supposed to pick it up. What yeah. a brilliant, Br brilliant place. Oh, my God. Brilliant Why seaweed bath? I'll yes. take it. <laughs> Thank you so much. I'll take it, absolutely. Now, another couple of things. So, send the messages in to Brendan back there, the lovely Brendan. With the questions. Isn't he gorgeous? If you want to ask something, we might get through one or two of them later mm. on, if they are suitable. The other thing is, um, big fair play to Amber and Marie Claire down there. Who These are the nail a, people. They're having a joint for their birthday. Oh, no, they're having a joint birthday. Sorry, well done. Uh, they're the people that do the nails. Huh? Amber's Nail Fashions. Is that Amber's Nail Fashions down there? The one and only? No shagging way. I heard, I heard something before we started. Go on. Apparently, they, you know when everybody's in getting the nail done? Yeah. They have us on in the background. No shagging way they have us on. Bad I might go in and get my own nails done. Come here, that's actually a good question now. Tell the truth now. Tell me if it's not possible or not. I bite my nails to bits. I bite my nails to bits. Is it possible to put a fake nails over them that look natural? Is it? Put me in for eight tomorrow. Eight o'clock. <laughs> and then when I bite them down next week, you can put new ones on. Anyway, fair play to Marie Claire and Amber down there celebrating uh, having joints for their joint birthday. Okay, so perfect. <laughs> Uh, that's about all on my end, Ray. Uh, any crack with you, though? Just more? as nervous as it was at the start again. Yeah, your shoulders are still mad. Back up, yeah. Honestly, I've back never up. seen a man who have shoulders higher than the top of his head. <laughs> I'm going to go with a few bits in the second half. You've come into yourself. Come yeah. on, Rick. Okay, go on. I'm going to try a few bits. Right. <clears throat> Everyone loves Ray's bits. Come on, though, Ray. Um, shit, right. Um, unusual sex destinations. What? Unusual sex destinations. There's only one destination for sex, Ray. And it gets people pregnant. That's all I'm saying. There's only one place. You should only be putting it in one place. Uh, yeah. Sorry, go on, here. Go on. I, obviously, I do, I do talk, I do chat these through before I bring them to you. And I was told reliably 
by, by by certain people that this was a, this was a disaster for one now this one. <laughs> so I'm just gonna put that I, out there. I can't wait. Okay. Yeah. So um, I seen a TikTok oh, yeah. about unusual sex destinations. Okay. And one of them is in uh, Indonesia. It's a place called Sex Mountain. Okay. <laughs> but hang on a second now. There's nothing unusual about that. It's called Sex Mountain. It is. Like but unusual is like I it was in a wheelie bin. Like not. <laughs> <something>. <laughs> Not a place that's actually called Sex Mountain. Yeah, it's very, no, but it's obviously not called Sex It's Indonesian, it's something else. The Rugu, because nice. something. Oh, yeah, that's yeah. beautiful. Yeah, beautiful dose. Is that your native mm -hmm. tongue? Or, Thank you. Um, <laughs> so Sex Mountain is a place in Indonesia. You know how it got its name? Come on. So I got all this out of like a three-minute TikTok. Go on, what? Just, do, I, do you know how it got its name? And I went, yeah, come on, don't tell me that. So apparently a prince, right, right. Uh, met a lady. He did. Back in the day, and he brought did. this lady to... Um, the mountain at the time it wasn't called Sex Mountain, it was just the mountain. It was just mountain. <laughs> yeah, okay, before. Okay. So he brought a lady to the mountain yeah. and uh, the intention was to have some fun. Okay. Fun times at oh, the yeah. mountain. And um, then there were some soldiers. Right. And the soldiers ran after them and killed the prince and the lady. Right. Devastating story. Jesus. So the people of Indonesia decided um, it was a very sad story and the way they would kind of immortalise it would be that now it is a custom, a pilgrimage even. It's a bit like the Indonesian Croak Patrick. <laughs> is... <laughs> 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 just a different type of what, what you have to do is you, you go to Sex Mountain on your own yeah and the idea is you meet a stranger and you have to have sex with a stranger I don't, hang on now this is fucking dogging like. <laughs> <laughs> that's stupid Ray They're, you're making it out to be this big like, no, oh, it's, it's a pilgrimage. It's the a prince pilgrimage. and the princess were so yeah. in love and the they were killed. No princess, and now just a lady. And now drives up there in a Vectra <laughs> again. <laughs> and Johnny Depp locked in the back. Opens the back door. <laughs> oh, it's so graceful and lovely. It's Go not on. dogging. Right. So, because it's more complicated than dogging. Gee. You, you, you go the first time and you meet a stranger, yeah. right? And you have the sexy time. Right. And then you have to go back six more times in a year. So you have 12 months to complete this. What the fuck is this? Pilgrimage. Pilgrimage. <laughs> <laughs> so you have to go seven times in a 12-month period and have sex with a stranger. The same one? Same stranger. And is it the same one for everybody? No. Oh, thank everybody, God. Everybody, like, if you went there now, you'd yes. meet someone that you don't know, and you go, right, how are you? I thought this was, like... <laughs> You know, like you see those fucking, you know your man, Machu Picchu? You know that fella? He has a place. <laughs> yeah, Machu. I thought it was one of those things where, like, you rock up to this old one, and she's like, oh, you're here for me. You know what I mean? I you're here the for the blessing. Woman, no. Everyone has to, you know what I mean? Fair no. play, it's worth a so, while. Yeah, so, funny. <laughs> so, it's, you meet one stranger the first time, then you have to arrange to come back six more times, right. and once you've done it seven times in a year, you get a blessing. Uh, right, uh, I'm sure you do. But Jesus that's it. Christ. <laughs> <laughs> it's good fortune. It's it like is. it's not. Yes, it it's is. Like not breaking a marriage. Yes, it is. Right, yeah. Everything about it is good fortune and blessing, Ray. Yeah. Honestly. <laughs> Sex seven times a year, Ray. Yeah. Jesus Christ, man. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, but apparently it's banned now, so it's been stopped. The governor of Indonesia said, "This is just this is dogging." I'm sure he said. Yeah, he yeah. said. <laughs> he said. Called it what it is. But also, you're talking like it was state sponsored before this. Look, <laughs> we're cutting the funding. We're going to cut the funding to, to, the, sex sex, to the old one that's up the top of the mountain that everyone's going up to visit. But I think we're going to cut her off. She's on the door now. And she but isn't it mad to hear... She's going to retrain <laughs> something else. That's, that's sex mountain. Yeah, that was... It was way better than he thought. See, this is what happens, right? And then he goes, that's shine. I'm going to cut that out there now. Yeah. But that was wonderful crack, Ray. Yeah. Thank you. You're brilliant. I'll go on another one. Go on. Uh, I can't believe he typed it out. I've never I had to, yeah, I had to go type I've it out. I've never seen it typed I couldn't rely on the phone. Ah, you fuck. Go on, yeah. go, go The on. difference between, do you know the difference between a cucumber and a courgette? <laughs> uh, about four inches, I don't know. Like. <laughs> I don't know either. What? But, but like, they look the but same. But why are you asking me that? <laughs> As if I'd know. I, I thought, well, it's, 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 you could know. I've never know. had any, either one of them. <laughs> so get that straight. No, not me, man. No, no. I don't really, what are they again? Sorry, I don't know what you're Cucumbers about. are, they're kind of a watery fruit. Vegetable. Yeah. Are they fruit or vegetable? Vegetable. They're a vegetable, yeah. Lovely. <laughs> and what's a courgette then? Courgette is also a vegetable. Right, so a pair of veg. A pair of veg. Right. But they look exactly the same. As? And you'd go with no. Oh, no, sorry. No. Yeah, go on, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> and apparently there's some beauty benefits to, now I was told a courgette. Right? No. <laughs> Are no. you talking about young ones putting it on the rise? 
Yes. Is that what you're on about? Yes. And then they have a face mask. Of you go into Lidl of a Sunday after they have the breakfast. Yeah. You get a courgette, not a cucumber. Not a, a cucumber. Courgette. I always thought it was cucumbers. That well, I think this is where the funniness happens. No. Because I think it is actually a cucumber and I think Laura bought the wrong one. <laughs> I think that's where we went wrong. And you tell me she was like, she was like, <laughs> Ray, all this is doing is sticking me. I don't know what to do. Uh, I think she had half a chopped zucchini in her hand this morning <laughs> that she had left in the freezer for the night before. <laughs> <laughs> and did you do it as well? Yeah. Did you yeah, actually? Did you not see it on me? I was going to say, man, you look absolutely... A radiant. Actually. That's why the shoulders are up. Oh, man, is that yeah. what it does to you? Mm. If you put a courgette in your eyes, you get pure tits. <laughs> hey. Come here to tell you. <laughs> I didn't even realise that. You were taking a Sligo stance. Yeah. That's a Sligo. Come here yeah. to tell you. I'm telling you one thing. That's fucking good, man. That must be the Sligo course, yes. Anyway, come on, anyway. That's fucking... <laughs> right. Random. Do you see you? Okay, keep going, Rick. Come on now. I had... Um, come on, just flip it over. <laughs> How are you with grammar? What? Grammar. Here's the thing. Very bad at English in school. Do you know what an adjective is? It's a describing word. Oh! Like you're some yolk. <laughs> hey, yolk is an adjective. Yeah. Your man's some yolk. But isn't a yolk also a noun? Huh? An owl. A noun. Oh no. <laughs> a noun. Yeah. What's a, a, noun, oh, a, noun? a noun is a person, a place, or a thing. Yeah. Yeah. So and a yolk could be a thing. Oh no, yolk is a, a no. So an adjective is like um, that was a belter of a set. So yeah. belter is the adjective. Why am I using the stupidest fucking words? <laughs> Just come up with a normal adjective, Kendi. What's wrong? Hang on, though. No, I think brilliant. Brilliant. Marvellous. Tremendous. Tremendous. Oh, yeah, okay. There's okay, one okay. right there. Yeah, okay. What's and a an noun is a person, a place, or a thing. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying. A yoke could be both. A yoke a yolk is both. A yoke could be both, because yeah, a yoke is a thing. Yeah. And it describes something. Does that's it? That's some yoke. No, but no. the yoke is. No, it doesn't. <laughs> no, you're right. It doesn't describe. You can't say that was, that was an awful yoke of a night. I know I say this a lot, like. <laughs> This is the level of shite I bring him every no, week. No, no, but hang on. <laughs> I sometimes worry. Mm -hmm. I'm thick as shit, like. <laughs> no, right. I do, like. And I genuinely think it's... My old lady told me I was brilliant. I'm not. Like, go on, anyway. I thought a yoke was an adjective. Keep going, Rick. What's Why an adverb? Why are you talking to me about grammar? Adverb? What? What's an adverb? An ad, like... <laughs> no, 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 no. I mean, on RTE, like. No. Uh, I, have, I actually haven't a clue what an ad... I know what a verb is. A right. verb is a doing word. I placed... Oh. I wrote, you know what I mean? Those words. Oh, yeah. That's right. And what's an adverb, then? Adverb is to describe a verb. Like, that's some verb. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you want to see the verb on the bad? <laughs> <laughs> Moving swiftly down. Do you know what a conjunction is? What? A conjunction. Yeah, I drove through <laughs> with the lights off. <laughs> <laughs> uh... Apparently that is to connect a sentence or a word. It's something like and, so, or but. What? You're, you have uh, a so or what? <laughs> <laughs> so a conjunction is the and in a sentence. Oh yeah, so <laughs> kids are really good at conjunctions. Yeah. And I went there and then I did this and then I... <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? They never shut the... F yeah, they're anyway. full of, Do you know what a determiner is? A what? A determiner. Does anybody know what a determiner is? <laughs> I know. <laughs> I've been excluding Sean Purcell. Obviously, he knows that he's very determined. <laughs> it describes someone who's very determined. It's very determined. They're a Purcell determiner. Is. Does yeah. anyone out there? You're a teacher, Neve Lovey. What's a yeah. determiner? I'm not fucking sending my kids to your school. That's yeah. for sure. <laughs> Straight away. A determiner uh, clarifies which noun has been referred to. So what? It's, it's this, my, or both. Your what? <laughs> Who bought a boat? <laughs> this this is a determiner. Oh, this is place. that word. Yeah. yeah, this place. So, so that's the determiner. The, the, is this? The, the, yeah. It's fucking. This is brilliant. Keep going. Is there any more? <laughs> exclamations. This is an easy one now. Yeah, I put exclamation marks at the end of every post because it's like shouting. <laughs> hey, <laughs> come to Candy Rainbow Show tonight live, 8 p.m. Like you know what yeah. I mean. So I shout in all of my it, uh, it, Instagram. It, it does. They express strong feeling. I exp I'm very um. What's the uh, exclamatory? Ray, <laughs> I express a lot of strong feelings. Do you, know, do you know what a preposition is? Come on, bring it to me. Tell me. It links. You didn't get it. <laughs> I was like, what's the proposition? What? Ah, oh, fuck's sake. 
You were like, what's the preposition? Ah, fuck off, Fred. Oh, you're wrecking me head now. Come on. Uh, it links a noun uh, uh, to another noun. It eats what? It links. It a links noun. a noun to another yeah. noun. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So this place so was some so the, person. <laughs> so the, the, the water yeah. at the cliff. Oh, yeah. So the water in the cliff. So yeah. there's water at the cliff. Yeah. Ray, you are... I mean, this... Basic grammar functions, folks. Lads. You're doing a live show. <laughs> That's where you go. <laughs> it's not all comedy, lads. Some no. of it's just learning, like, <laughs> you know what I mean? I actually looked that up. I said, fun ways to learn grammar. No, but I genuinely... I know we're taking the piss here. I didn't know what a lot of those I things were. I had loads of fun learning <laughs> that grammar there now. Yeah. And lo learning shit that I didn't know. Thank before. you, Mark. I knew a verb and an adjective, and that was it. I thought a fucking adjective was a yoke. Anyway, uh, Ray, have you had notes? Um, Before we start walloping into this other crack. What other crack is there? Oh, yeah, I have, one or, I have one or two more little bits. Oh, go for this it. Is, there's no Liverpool match on now? No, there's no Liverpool no, match tonight, man. You're right. That's the thing as well. Fuck me. I'm sorry now. This, I, I'll shut up now after this. Mm. Ray wrecks my head. When I tell him I to be gone there, there's Liverpool match on, he tries to record for longer and longer and longer and longer because he knows it pisses me off, man. Yeah. If you pull that stud. I have some agony candy stories here. Oh, fucking hell. Go on. I looked them up. I thought, see, see, the problem with me is on tonight, I was petrified. I've been here. <laughs> First, he was afraid. First. <laughs> <laughs> Dead. How good is Mark Kennedy tonight? You're on fire. Fair play to him. That's very good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's very good. <laughs> I was petrified right. about being here tonight, and I thought to myself, well, what are we going to do? You know? Because there's nothing worse than coming onto a podcast. It's fine coming into the box room and talking shite for an hour because you know there's no pressure. But mm. when there's people, <laughs> Yeah. That's the problem. That's you. Yeah. That's you. Yeah. So I, 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 and then I said, uh, what about a couple of agony ant stories? Right, okay. So when you look up agony ant on the internet, you get a couple of paper cuttings. What? Remember paper cuttings? Oh yeah, like, because they used to be in. That's, yeah, uh, yeah. yeah. There's nothing else on the internet bar paper cuttings. So I picked out a few of them that were nice. Okay. And I wanted to see your take on them. Go on. Okay. Um, <clears throat> I really like this girl who works at me at, at um, an internet firm based out of Galway. Um, but I'm not sure how to let her know how I feel about her. She always seems friendly and interested when I talk to her, but I've heard she might have a boyfriend. Should I send her a picture of my penis? <laughs> <laughs> but, like, here's the thing, though. <laughs> like, the real question, the real answer to that question is, I don't know. What? what? Because you're going to tell me now, no, don't ever <laughs> send a picture of your... You know, well, I'd well you, would, you advised me to do it a couple well, of years back. Yeah. <clears throat> well, I'd have to send it in three pictures now. <laughs> I know that. Pa but yeah. Panoramic. Yeah, I'd have to do a full <laughs> panoramic. Just. You said to send, and I thought to myself, no, it's too much <laughs> to be sending. It's not, man. Don't worry about that. So instead, I decided, I decided to go with a picture of, like, a uh, broccoli. Did I tell you? Yeah. Yeah, but that's exactly what it looks like. The broccoli. The broccoli. <laughs> so I sent, uh, like, a broccoli penis <laughs> picture. That didn't go down well at all. <laughs> no, but come here. I'm surprised you're still with me. Are you telling me? <laughs> Are you genuinely telling oh, me? Oh, it was bad. Like, I didn't hear from her two days. But I advised you to send a Mickey pic. Yes. <laughs> Am I stupid? Did I do that, yes, really? It, it was actually recorded. It's, an, it's an outtake that we might put up at some point. Oh, you're joking. Yeah. <clears throat> Did we seriously have that conversation? So your answer was, yes, you should send a no, picture. No, I'm not saying yes, you should. No, you're making me out to be a prevert. I, I'm not. <laughs> right? Right. I'm not, no, I'm not saying you should. But what I'm saying is, don't. Okay, don't, right. don't. But who's to say that she doesn't go... That's ah, nice. Gee, that's nice, that. Yeah. You know what I mean? I'm just saying we don't know fully, like. Okay. You know what I mean? It, it depends on the circumstances. No, no, shut up. <laughs> you don't know that for sure. You don't know that. Like you, maybe they, you know what I mean? Is it something you'd like? No. See? Yeah, but that's not unanimous now. We won't jump the gun. <laughs> they don't fucking represent Show of every... hands, who has sent one? <laughs> <laughs> Just so we see what we're dealing with here. I'll move on to our second Agony Kendi story. Um, right, I'm a 35-year-old man. This isn't Sean, right? Because <laughs> <laughs> he's married, this fella. My wife, my wife has a strange habit of urinating in the tea that she serves guests at our home. That's not a strange, that's a psychotic habit, not strange. She says it gives her a kick, though I was shocked at first, I started enjoying it too. In fact, I now do the same when making tea for guests. I heard that drinking pee is not harmful. Is it safe to continue doing this? No, wait now. 
they're coming at it from the perspective of, are we hurting anybody? Like, they're not Jesus, hurting you know, anybody. is it safe for us to be pissing in the neighbors' drinks? Hmm. They're not actually going, are we mental to be doing this? No. Like, no, it's asking, is there any harm? They're asking, is it safe? Or is, will I keep pissing in Morris? Can we, can we keep enjoying this? <laughs> like, do you know what the worrying thing is about like, something like that is that you don't know people, no. right? So I think I know you, right? Yeah. We've known each other for about 12 years now. About that. And I think that's it. I know everything about Ray. But for all I know, when I rock over and you say, <laughs> T? I'm just saying, you could be the kind of fellow who goes, yeah. Uh, I just throw a piss in that one. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because we don't know, no one knows everybody all the time. For all I know, Nicholas pissing the mind. I don't know, like, we yeah. don't know everybody well enough. Yeah. To, so that's, a, could that's be, a thought to they, take from tonight. No, but hang on, though. But Jesus Christ. It's just vexing, though. It really pissed, that, pissed me off. <laughs> it's really annoying. Like, the nerve of this fella to <laughs> go, do you know what I'll do now? Excuse me, Lorraine Lovey. I'm go, I'm, you know you're pissing in the neighbor's tea. I'm going to get on to agony and find out if that's all. You know what I mean? Like, the nerve of that prick. That actually happened, anyway. So, uh, I have another one for you. Go on. Um, will playing with my breasts make them bigger? Question mark. No, um, me playing with your breasts no. make them bigger. <laughs> that's, <laughs> my, that's what it is. My boyfriend insists it will, right? He's, <laughs> there we go. He's, he's 30 and I'm 31. He spends the evening fondling my breasts to see if his theory works. Right. I don't think there's any truth in it and I really wouldn't mind giving them a rest. Okay. This is one of those classic cases of the wool getting pulled over this woman's eyes. Yes. Right? Yeah. Absolutely get the wool pulled over her eyes. The cans pulled over her head. <laughs> I thought it was nice. But like, that's, she, she's so stupid, like, again, <laughs> who are these people? Like, who are these people? She goes, I'm going to figure out, I don't think you're, you're grabbing my cans every night. <laughs> I'm going to find out that, I'm going to get onto the paper here. And oh, find that out reminds that's right. me. I was given, an, uh, and there's a person here who gave me the information. Come on. Do you know Goofy? What? You know Goofy from the Walt Disney thing? Yeah, yeah. yeah? Do you, what kind of an animal is Goofy? A dog. Nope. What? He's a cow. Yeah. <laughs> a Norwegian cow. A rare breed of dog-like cows from Norway. What? Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> you didn't think you'd learn something tonight? You're all sitting there now, just like I was, going, really? <laughs> well, it turns out he's not a cow. <laughs> turns out he is actually a dog. <laughs> But I got, to, I, I, uh, a friend of ours, Noel Kenny, is here in the crowd, I won't point him out, but uh, he mentioned that, um, that, he said this to me when I said, blow, blew his mind. He says, when he found this out, it was crazy. And he said, just, he couldn't, he wasn't right for days after. Because your whole childhood is a, is a lie at that point. I fucking had a party. Yeah. <laughs> you know? But I went and researched it, thank God, before I said it on the podcast. But only that he reminded me of it this evening, I thought I'd share it with you. But why are you saying he's a cow when he's not a cow, he's a dog? Why are you playing tricks with It was conspiracy mind? theory. What? And I had to, because the part of you actually kind of goes, Jesus, am I looking at this all wrong? I looked at it there. Yeah. And I went, oh, maybe it is. But it's not a dog. <laughs> it's like. a dog, yeah. But you made me believe it was. I think it's the black and the white. Even when I looked at it, yeah. I was going, oh, that's a cow. <laughs> yeah. It's a fucking dog. Yeah. I thought you were pulling one of those trickster stuff on me again, like the, like the Chad Kroger joke. <laughs> I did get one of those, but I don't think it's any good. Well, it's not going to work now, obviously, because I know it's <laughs> a joke. Yeah. Any more? Come on, um, The last one. Uh, my, uh, my boyfriend left me while I waited in the bedroom to go play the PlayStation with his friends. Surely he's too old for that stuff. He's 30 and I'm 31. We're no, both he's not too old. <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're both working professionals, and I always thought uh, he'd have grown out of it by now. We've been together for 14 years, and now we're expecting our first baby. But ah, I'm shut the <laughs> <laughs> but, but I'm... But I, I'm afraid he won't have any time for the baby, as he won't want to let the lads down who he plays with. What should I do? Well, the lads are people too, first of all. <laughs> I just say that. I would... Uh, this person, he sounds like a stand-up fella. As long as he's contributing financially. All right. Sure isn't that part and parcel of it, like. You know what I mean? And I'll buy parcels. Easy. No bother at all. <laughs> you have to balance your life, Ray, very, very carefully. You know what I mean? But what advice would you give this lady? 
If I was giving this lady advice, I would say, it sounds like you really, you caught someone. <laughs> <laughs> you caught him young. Yeah. You should count your lucky Blessings. chickens, or yeah. whatever that yeah. said is. Count your lucky dogs and keep them. Keep them and leave them alone. Yeah, because if you don't smother him like mm -hmm. you are, which you are, <laughs> he'll fly away like a gorgeous bird and he could be gone forever. And if he does go forever, he, I'll still pay maintenance, no bother. Okay. Well, I try... <laughs> Well, I try and tell the joke that someone told me to tell. Come on. Just, You're yeah. the worst joke teller in the world. I know. On, yeah. I was only this evening, now I heard this. Go on. Um, a lumberjack, right? <laughs> <laughs> An Irish lum lumberjack. Right. He went over to America right. to get a job. And he met the people in America. And he says, I was going, I'm a lumberjack. And they said, right, uh, what are your, like, where, where were you working last? And he said, I was working in the Sahara Fazer. Far, uh, <laughs> It's like joke Tourette's, I can't get through it. No, he was working bad. in the Sahara forest. Okay. Right? Oh, okay. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. And then they said, well, Jiz, we haven't... You mean the Sahara Desert? Yeah. And he said, Jiz, it wasn't called that when I was working there. Yeah. Do you know? So yeah. immediately he's, he's swinging big, no. big sexy. Yeah, that's big sexy. Yeah. yeah. So they said, right, okay, fine. So they bring him outside anyway, and they show him this big, massive oak tree. Right. And they say, can you tell us what is the front and what is the back of that oak tree? Right? Okay. <laughs> so the lad goes over. And he looks at it and he measures it and he does the whole lot. And he comes back and he said, that's the front of it there. And he said, how did you know? And he said, because someone took a poo around the back. <laughs> <laughs> I got it. That was brilliant, yeah. Ray. Well done. You know, for Ray and his joke telling, yeah. ladies and gentlemen. He's an absolute natural. Yeah, does Brian, does Brian Cody wear a cap? No. <laughs> uh, the last items I have on the uh, list... Before we do the Q&A, Q coming next, isn't it? Yeah, we might have time for one, Brendan. Is there even sure. one text? Yeah. Oh. oh okay, shite. we'll pick out right. the best one or two, I'll, I'll do real quick, because we do shout-outs. We have to let these people go home, like, they'll be driven, demented. Go we on, do shout-outs. Huh? We have to do shout-outs. I fucking did me shout-outs already. I know my ones. Yeah. Uh, we missed this last week. Uh, Lucy and Aaron got engaged. Lucy and Aaron got engaged? Yeah. Way! Fair play to them. Fair play to them. Yeah. That's a that's shout-out to them. Lovely. She'll have to give up the GEA. She have to give up the GA. Absolutely. He won't be giving up the PlayStation. No. Go on, anyway. <laughs> uh, and and that's that's it. Besides, um, besides, obviously, happy birthday to my girlfriend Laura for to start you tomorrow. Oh my God. Uh, you'll be, remember last week I asked you for advice. Yeah. And you didn't give it to me. What well, I got a lovely card on Moonpig.com. Oh, did you? And I have to have words with them Why? because it landed this morning in a big envelope yeah. with big letters on the feckin' top of it saying, "This must be a Moonpig." And at the back for someone special. It totally gave the game away. She found it. She put it on the kitchen table. But she knows well there was a card in it. Yeah, but obviously, why did you, you ordered it from Moonpig. Yeah. Why don't you see what every other fella does in the, when you forget? Go down to the garage in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> like you ordered to the house where you both live a giant card. Yeah, a giant card. That's but like <laughs> that's like you saying, I don't know who the giant bear is for. I, have, I don't have a clue. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah. Jesus. Happy birthday, Laura. Yeah. I love you. Fair play to you. Yeah. And. I can't say it yet because the present hasn't arrived, but I'll give you a clue. Go it's second hand. <laughs> <laughs> it's second hand? Yeah, sec I, got a I second know what hand it is. Pregnant. No, you don't. But sure, I straight away know what it is, you fool. You gave it away. What is it? Beep, beep. Okay, look, no, it's not that. <laughs> no, I got a second hand something because she'd be very proud of me for buying second hand. Why? Do you enjoy, oh, does she do the. the... She'd kill us. Say nothing now. Say up. no more. Yeah, I'll yeah. leave it to that now. That's the end of that. Yeah, the present is coming tomorrow second hand. Happy birthday, Laura, or whatever. Yeah. We don't even mind. Okay. So want to do the Q&A? Yeah, Brendan, is there one or two things there? Yeah. Nice, Ray, handy ones, though. Uh, someone asked, who would be your ideal guest on the podcast? Oh, shit, man. That's unbelievable. Johnny Depp, I'd say it. I'd have a lot to say at this point. <laughs> <laughs> Stop there, Johnny. Vladimir Putin. Would it be? I want to sit him down and say, come on now to fuck. What's going on here, like? There's more to this than meets Actually, the eye, Vlad. Actually, you know something. No, but I want to find out, like. I want to say, sit down, Vlad, man. Just sit down. <laughs> relax, will you? Will you just take Your it easy? <laughs> like, what's going on? Like, will yeah. you just relax it for a minute, like? Why are you so vexed? You know what I mean? Because, like, he's a world leader, but uh, I just... Look, Vladimir Putin or, or uh, I don't know, maybe Ray McAndrew is probably my ideal guest, you guys, on the podcast. <laughs> now I'm the cute one. They're like, oh, my God, Mark's so adorable. Okay, perfect. Go Next. on, Brendan. Any other ones? Uh, where... Karen Lynch, so what weird questions. Where in Sligo have you taken a piss outdoors on a night out? Oh, shit, man. That's examples, a by the way. She's given examples, so I don't know. She's obviously done all these places herself. <laughs> the, uh, the O2 Corner, the o which is now the three-store. She's living in the 80s. I love the way she no, gave the background to it. Outside Source, 
The leap that's from the same car. Or the leap from car park, she said. Wait, was that the same night? Like, were you like, oh, ch and then she was like, oh, no, I'm not finished yet, just as she walked across the road. Like, waddled, waddled across the road. That's the same corridor, like. Yeah. She also wants a petition started to get the four lights open after eight o'clock because she misses the scraps. That goes for every. <laughs> That goes for every takeaway. Roberto's, yeah. what's wrong with them? They're closing at half nine. Yeah, yeah, it's an absolute disgrace, lads. That's how we know the pandemic's not fully over, lads. Yeah. The, chipper, the chippers are back in full swing. <laughs> Apart God. from Star Pizza, who yeah. are making a killing. Are they? Why? Well, they're the only takeaway in town at two o'clock in the morning. Are they, actually? Yeah. Hey, the happy eater's a belter, because the, the great thing about the happy eater is, well, one, it's... How do you pronounce it? <laughs> It's got loads of vowels. The great thing about the, 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 the happy eater... Oh, no, right, you didn't say it that way. Okay, I said the happy eater. The what? The, the happy eater. Oh, drag it out. I'm not dragging it out because you're just making fun of me. Yeah. That's not fair, Ray. You're not supposed to say, Ray. The happy eater. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I'm from Roscobbin and I talk like a psycho person, okay? And that's what I'm going to do. Jesus. I've, anyway, happy eater's a belter. Yeah. Right? Because it's outside town, you don't get your head opened. Unless it's an old lad who was in the railway and he's going, well, how are you, Kip? I watch this dog. Jesus. Throws out a snack box and uh, that's all. You know what I mean? And you can stand away from him. Yeah. The smell radius is about six foot. So, that's a belter. I love that one. Okay. Uh, Next, Brendan. Stop pissing, will you? What's going on? He's doing everything indoors. Jesus Christ. So, oh yeah, okay, actually, that's your excuse. COVID. The weirdest, like, I've never, um, I did take a piss in alleyway one time in Saigo. I was young at the time. And then I think I walked down the road and I got punched in the face. So, uh, <laughs> so Sorry, I know that doesn't make so any sense, there. but that's all I can remember. I think it was down the, the alleyway by Fiddlers there and, and what used to be... Um, I'd be very hooked, nervous. Hooked. And then I walked around the top, I got boxed in the jaw. I was like, is that for taking the piss or did I fucking... <laughs> I was literally taking the piss. Anyway, that's the only place I've ever... I wouldn't do it. Don't piss at home, guys, okay? Yeah. Control yourselves. <laughs> Brendan, one more. Uh, Ray, what's it like looking at the audience and not being able to see half them? <laughs> <laughs> you need to tell the backstory there now. Do well. people get that reference? Do some people get that reference? Ever since Ray and Laura have become an item, I he, haven't seen anybody. Of he, the hasn't, he doesn't know that women exist anymore now. <laughs> no. So when they're watching TV and Laura's like, oh, look at that, Ray goes, well, there's no one there. I can't see anything. Like, you know what I mean? So Ray actually only sees this place half full now. You know what I mean? <laughs> Suits me down to the ground. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it definitely suits you down to the ground. Of course it does, man. Yeah, yeah. You can I even bastard. Have you one more, Brendan? Uh, last one is a little challenge. The two guys have to yodel a famous song and the audience have to guess. <laughs> <laughs> one each. What? How do you yodel? You know the yodel? <laughs> Go on. I'm not giving you any more. I'm, I'm not teaching you. I can yodel. Let, let me think of a yodel at song. Hang on. Uh, do you think of one as well now? You're shy at this, so I'm Someone can throw up brilliant. suggestions, maybe. Yeah, but how are they going to guess it then, Brendan? They know what it is. <laughs> we just want to see... We just want to see Ray doing what he did last week with the lilting. No, no, hang on now. <laughs> I will come up with one, right? And you come up with one as well, OK? So, a famous song. Right. Do you want to go first? No, you go first. OK. Uh, I'm OK for a drink, thank you, though. <laughs> I'll try and do a show. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Ah, what are you That's terrible. I, I, fuck it. I just big time turn. I shouldn't have done yeah, that. Now did. I feel like a prick. Yeah. Well, for a laugh. Okay. Okay, yodels. Yeah. I want you to go first. Okay. Yodel. Let me get me key. Yodel. Oh, here we go. Yodel. Yodel. Do you? 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 Oh, is that shape you? You said. You know, you're wrong. It wasn't that. It was Brendan Chain going out. No, it was for shape you, a buddy best. I'm fucking so nervous again now. That <laughs> a, I don't know. Do I know how to yodel? You were sure you don't know what way to find out? I'll try the standard yodel. Yodel. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's a good start. Yeah. Brilliant. So Ray, you're a natural. Are you from Sweden? No. No. And do you know why? Because I don't yodel in Sweden. I think it's Switzerland. Yodel. Yodel. Austria? Belfast? Okay, sorry, I can't remember. Have it, have it, have it, have it, have it. Yodele, yodele, yodele. Ah, yodle. Jesus Christ. <laughs> yodele, yodele, yodele. You have to do it, I Yodele, 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 yodele. Yodele, yodele, yodele. Oh, I like the hybrid at the end. <laughs> Give it up for Ray, everybody, with his wonderful yodele. Oh. Sorry, we have one last one, and it's, it's from Laura, so we have to read it out. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Not that she demanded it. <laughs> Ask Ray to tell the music practical story. 
It's not that big. Okay. Um, you've, you said you've known me a while. I did a, I, you know my, doing the Leaving Cert to do a musical practical. Did anyone yeah. do music for the Leaving Cert? Yeah? Did you have a practical? Yeah. You, that, so it's the thing where you go in and you play the few tunes. Yeah, 50%. Most, most normal people, right, <laughs> go in and just play the few tunes on the acoustic guitar or the flute gene or yeah, the sang. It's really easy to get full marks. Yeah. Anyway. yeah. Oh, yeah. I took it very seriously. I said to myself, this is a prime opportunity now to go all out. Right. right? So I got a full band together. <laughs> Where did you bring Bono? Like? I, got, I got all the lads I knew to play. They could play music. got them all together. And I said, we're going to do... I had four songs, and a friend of mine was also in the class, King, Sean King. Right. Uh, he had to do four songs as well. So we picked eight songs right. that we're going to do. And I hired a big PA system, not a Vinnie Higgins, premium <laughs> mic stand provider. I, I didn't know Vinnie at this time. I got onto a guy called Frankie in Castle Bar and hired, like, 500 euros worth of PA system. Why? You're playing in a music room in Ballina, like... It's Gurton Rabbing and Cross Malina. Okay, it was small. Well, can you again. imagine now, right? First of all, I had to prepare the room. And I, yeah, so I was looking at the gym. I was thinking, we're going to have to do it at the gym because it's a big band. I was thinking, we're going to have to curtain it all because it's too echoey. Wait, no. Did you get the <laughs> choice to do this? No, well, I, was, I, I ran it by the principal, and Sister Mary Mulrooney says, no, you're not curtaining the entire gym because <laughs> that was going to cost a number of thousands, Jeez. which I would have been paying for. So oh I said, we go, for a, we go for a smaller room. So I, look, I looked around the school, and the library was quite a savage spot. So I said, go for the library, and not thinking that the books were enough soakage, I said, that needs to be curtained. The and as you can see here, with all the curtains I've up. Yeah, uh, that's actually Ray did that genuinely. Yeah. Yeah. So he so, had to curtain the books. So okay, they curtained the anyway. library. So I managed to rope the janitor and the history teacher in, and we came in of a Sunday, and we drilled, I'd say, 27 holes in the wall and put up railings, <laughs> which are still there to this day, which is the one mark that I left on Curtain Ravi. <laughs> <laughs> 28. <laughs> So put up rails, got all the, the stripped the, the stage that was down in the gym that had curtains, stripped the curtains all off that, put it all up around the library, and it was as dead as any studio you'd be in. Jesus. Yeah, beautiful. Then, on the Monday morning, I landed in school. I had spent five years in Curtin Rabbey not getting noticed by anybody. <laughs> right? That's heartbreaking. <laughs> Nobody noticed me. I was thinking, now, the, now, now they'll... Uh, now basically, they'll this is my version of Columbine. So I, you, <laughs> you know... This is how they're going to know who I am now, right? <laughs> so Frankie McDonald, for, uh, AV hire from Castlebar, he landed in the big transit van on the Monday morning. Everybody was doing about their business, worried about the leaving cert. And <laughs> Frankie landed in, everybody going, who's your man in the van? He took out a full van load of speakers and brought them up the stairs to the library. And we set up the big PA. This was like Ed Sheeran's gig, but in a library. <laughs> <laughs> right? Uh, so big speakers and everything. So then we decided, well, we have all this gear up there now, we're going to have two couple of shows. So, <laughs> so on the, uh, on, the <laughs> on the Tuesday afternoon, we did a lunchtime concert for all the students in the, in the school. <laughs> you set up a festival. Like. <laughs> <laughs> My pract the practice was on the Wednesday, but on the Tuesday lunchtime, we did, a, we did a thing, and all the GEA players were there going, Jesus, your man can play. Fair play for me. No, you know? that was like yeah, the most... Yeah, I was going like, yes, I can fair play Somebody like that. <laughs> you know what I mean? They weren't really. Sister Mary broke it up around halfway through, because <laughs> apparently we were reverberating the windows of the canteen. <laughs> okay. So anyway, that night, then, we did a show for family and friends. Kind of an intimate sort of a game. What the fuck is happening here, like? Well, we got a small bar in as well. I got tins of Coke and teas and coffees. <laughs> so the whole, the whole... And we recorded that one. We multi-tracked that one, so we did, yeah. multi tracked yeah, back in the 90s? Did, yeah, yeah, yeah. We recorded the whole thing, uh, played the eight songs, and the following day, the, the music teacher, practical inspector, came in, and she, 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 she got a treat. <laughs> Yeah. Did she do it? Did you do it? Well, we did. We played Jess. So she came in and she had a little table in the library, all curtained with the fancy stage lighting. And this is 17 school. A stadium rig. <laughs> stadium rig. In a library. Yeah. And she hasn't heard that in since. Yeah. And Phil Casty played guitar and he brought all 10 guitars with him because he just wanted to like the look of them up oh the back. Oh my God. It was that time in your life. Can I just say, that is absolutely adorable. Thanks. That's the most adorable thing I've ever heard. Like, it was one of the highlights of my student life. Oh, my God. I was getting looks after. It was like I was driving the cash guy through the corridors <laughs> of the school. I was getting... <laughs> yeah. That's a belter. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, listen, thank you so, so much for coming to see us tonight. I really, really, really hope you enjoyed it. Fair play to Anderson's Tremendous Event Centre and also to Blind Tiger as well, who uh, half sponsor us along with Anderson's Tremendous Event Centre. Yeah. Aileen here and all the staff... Uh, down here for organising, right. having all the crack. Fair play, let's give him a big round of applause. Aileen, Aileen has a little treat. 
Alien as a little treat. Maybe we can give it away to someone in the audience. Oh. If it was like their birthday or something, maybe, would we? Oh, yeah. What's that now? It's a box. You can't open the box. What is it? Flat it's peg a, It's a new laptop. Is it? No, it's a pair of cocktails. <laughs> it's actually a little holder for cocktails, though. So it's a Mai Tai and yeah. a Sex Abroad on top of Ross's That's Point. That's lovely. <laughs> and so then what, what are these called? I, they're called I'm Actually Not Sure. They must be a foreign <laughs> drink. I'm not really sure. Uh, listen, thank you so, so much. So this is straight from the Blind Tiger, ladies and gentlemen. You can get cocktails in Anderson's and the Blind Tiger, Ray. <gasps> Unbelievable. <laughs> okay, so thank you guys so, so much. Fair play to Brendan for uh, flicking the fingers off himself back Woo! here. Man, Brendan. And uh, we're going to finish it like we... Do you know what button has the Kenji Rainbow song on us? I think so. You fucking bet to get this right. So right. we're going to finish it like we always finish it. Okay, so Ray, fair play to me. <laughs> <laughs> Mark, no. You stupid... <laughs> Wait, give me a second. Don't make me count. Oh, shit, Amber Heard. Sorry, never mind. Never mind. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, fair play to me. Uh, fair play to me. Good luck. Good luck. The Kendi and Rabo Podcast, sponsored by Anderson's Bar and Grill and the Blind Tiger Bar.